the app that I want to talk about today is called Hacker's Keyboard and it can be found in the Play Store and uh, if you just type Hacker's Keyboard it's free um, you can install it the other thing that I got to accompany it was the English Dictionary which helps with correcting uh, me with incorrect spelled words um, and the way that you install the hacker's keyboard is it puts an icon there you enable the keyboard um, turn it on and then you select the input method which it gives you the two options and then you choose hacker's keyboard again and then um, you're ready to go and so it'll actually use the hacker's keyboard and this is um, the hacker's keyboard um, this is the transparent theme um, it has a few different themes a stone theme the um, well let's just um, go to settings I'm not seeing the settings here uh, the settings button um, should be here if you go to settings and you can go into the settings and you can change it like I have put it on 40% in the portrait and the landscape uh, I did the five row layout which gives you the numbers and the letters at the same time it also gives you the arrow keys I did it in landscape and portrait um, the suggestions um, in the landscape as well it does it automatically in portrait but in landscape you have to select it here are your theme options. Um, um, let's see, keyboard theme. You have ice cream sandwich as a theme, gingerbread, stone, and then transparent. And I like the transparent keyboard, so I chose that. And then all the rest of these, I pretty much leave them the way that they are. Um, you could always play with it yourself and find, you know, other things that you like. Um, the beautiful thing about this keyboard is it's very nice looking um, and I like this transparent one when you have more stuff going on in the background it'll actually um, show up a lot um, a lot more transparent than this this may actually um, be the ice cream sandwich one no because I chose transparent but I don't see anything through it right now um, and, uh, the microphone button is there, so if you're, uh, texting and you want to use the microphone option, that's there. The arrow keys are there, so if you are, um, on a, um, internet website or something like that, and you're trying to select a, a group of words, or you're, um, trying to correct a group of uh, a word and you know you want to go to a specific letter the arrows I find are really good for that and you can see that uh, if we turn it to uh, landscape it does the same thing it stretches everything out it's actually much easier to type I mean I think that's true for any keyboard in landscape um, on this keyboard um, and the way that I think this keyboard actually works best is on a tablet because the keys are a little tight um, they do have a lot more they have a lot of extra things on this keyboard which cause it to be a little tight in design um, but I really like the keyboard I think that it's simple um, the way you set it up the way that you select what you're looking for it's not too complicated the microphone actually is not working on uh, my uh, phone now but I had the HTC Evo 4G previously 
um, and I had that for three years and I know I used the hacker keyboard on it for at least two of those three years and the microphone worked just fine um, so it may be the Android version that's causing it not to work going from 2.3.7 to 4.4.2 or it could just be the phone you know every phone is different so it could just be that the Evo um, utilizes it and the one max just can't um, but whatever the case um, it I think that it's worth trying out like I said the perfect thing for it to me was when I had it on my HP touchpad tablet which was a 9.7 inch screen it showed up beautifully and um, my tablet isn't currently working right now but if I was still using that tablet I would probably still be using this keyboard in spite of all the other keyboards uh, that are out there um, because I think it's simple and I think it's nice. Uh, and this is a hacker's keyboard. I uh, hope this video helps someone. Bye-bye.